Hello everyone. Thank you for joining us for our midweek moment. My name is Pastor G.M. Thompson, the pastor of New Beginning Christian Faith Center, and I'm so honored that you have joined us today. And I'd just like to share a thought or something for you to think about on today that will make even your day better. And so we at New Beginning, a part of our uh, mission statement or our desire is to have people to know the great Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for him to be their redeemer. They're keeping everything to them. And also we want them to be people of great power, great strength, and great faith. And we just thank God for that. And so today I would like to share the thought about our most valuable resource. And you know what that is? That is the word of God. And I'm just going to speak this like every child of God is doing that. As a child of God, we know the word of God is our most valuable resource. That's why as believers, we are committed to meditating on God's word. And meditate means to, um, in silent reflection, to contemplate or go over in our mind because the word of God is hidden in our hearts. It's always accessible to us 24 seven. As a true believer, he promises to, to delight in God's word and never forget it. And this is what we do as believers. We make that promise. I'm going to delight in the word of God. Amen. I'm not going to forget the word of God. I have it so stored up in me because when the devil comes in and try to deceive me, that word is going to come up in me. When sickness comes, that word is going to come up in me because I understand that's my most valuable resource. I got to meditate on it. I got to think about it. You know what? Even watching TV, you know what? My mind still sometimes is on the word of God. I, you as children of God to remain faithful to that word because those are promises. And you know what? He's a God. He cannot lie. His promises are yea and amen. So we got to stand on it and trust it because in his word, that's our final thing. That's our hiding place. That's our victory. That's our deliverance is the word because since God can't lie and he said in the scripture, Put him in remembrance. So give him his word back. Whatever's happening to you, find your scripture. Give God his word back. That's your most valuable resource. He has and he will honor his word. You have faith in it and believe it and trust him. And God, he can't do nothing. He will be faithful to what he says. And glory to God. We got to know that it is true. And uh, I want to share a scripture today with that. Is that from Psalm 119 beginning with verse number 17, and this is from the Passion Version. Let me, your servant, walk in abundance of life, that I may always live to obey your truth. And that's good, and that's true. Open my eyes to see the miracle wonders hidden in your word. My life on earth is so brief, so tutor me in the ways of your wisdom. I am continually consumed by these irresistible longings, these cravings to obey every commandment. Your displeasure rests with those who are, your displeasure, excuse me, rests with those who are arrogant, who think they know everything. You rebuke the rebellious who refuse your laws. So we can't be that way, but we got to know, we trust the word, we stand on the word. Praise God, and God's going to move for you because you're standing on it. You, you, you know, you, you just, you know, you know it's true. You know it's real. You know that God would do it. So, you know, we got to, but even if the pit princes and my leaders choose to criticize me, I will continue to serve you and walk in your plans. So no matter who it is, it may not be a prince, it may not be a lead, but whoever comes up against you to criticize you, you're going to continue to serve and walk, praise God, in the word of God. Amen. Because your word, his word is your counselor. And your, his word is your light. It's your delight. And when you do that and stand on it, I'm telling you today, men and women of God, praise God, watch God. Amen. He is, the word is your most valuable resource. 
every time you face a situation, even on a job, the word is your most valuable resource. He said he will supply all your need according to his riches and glory. And none of us really know how rich God is. Praise God and how great he is because he has so much for us. And so you got to stand on it. You got to trust it. You got to believe that word. Don't, don't waver from the word. I don't care how bad it gets, how low you may seem like you are. But honey, I'm telling you that word is your deliverance and you got to believe it. Don't let nothing shake you. Don't let nothing move you from that word and think it, it won't work. Don't talk to, to people that are negative and they say, well, this ain't going to happen. That's going to happen. You know, don't even think about that. You get the word for yourself. This is something you got to know for yourself. So once God moves for you and he delivers and nobody can take that away from you, even your next trial, you'll be ready because you know you got a word in your mouth. You know that God is going to bless you. He's going to bring you up. He's going to bring you out and he's going to hear you. He's going to answer your cry and you can stand on it. You can trust it. Amen. I know for myself personally, he's done so many wonderful, great things and I know what God can do. I know being sick so bad and pain all night long, but I know that I tell you, Praise God. God is a healer. I can tell you that right now. You know what? Even in the darkest hours, you got to expect light. Amen. Because you know what? He is the word lets us know. He's the light of the world. So that light is going to come. And yes, we're going to have tests. Yes, we're going to have trials. Yes, we are. But you know what? There is victory in the word. There is help in that word. You got to stand on it and trust it and watch God to do it for you. And I thank you so much again for joining us on a midweek moment. And before I close, we just want to have a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, God, for our hearers today. We just give you glory for them thinking about, meditating on that their most valuable resource is the word of God. Let them get a hold to that word. Whatever's going on in their lives, God, direct them, guide them, because you are that kind of God that would do that for them, to know that you will deliver them and let them trust that word. Don't let them doubt today. I decree it over their lives that they will not doubt today they will not be in despair, but they'll get a hold of that word. They'll know that that word will work for them. That word is going to move on their behalf because, you know, God, they have faith in you because you're all wise, all knowing God. You're the God of heaven and earth and everything belongs to you. You made it and glory to God. God, you're going to do it for them. I believe it, God. I trust you for it. I thank you in advance for testimonies about what you have done because they stood on that word. They trusted that word and you proved yourself faithful to them. And God, you let us know we, we trust in the Lord. Praise God. Be of good courage. He's going to bring it to pass. Wait on the Lord. He's going to strengthen you right now. He's going to help you. And God, I thank you for doing it. I praise your name, but it is so it is done in the name of Jesus. God bless you. See you next week.